Rated M for Mature. Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 3. In the previous video, we went to the 10th floor of Tartarus, got really tired, and then decided to come back down and fuse up Ari Matama, which is our newest Persona. He's of the chariot. Man, look at him. He's ticked. But yeah, we're basically done in Tartarus, so we're going to go back to the dorm and just rest for a little bit, and then head to school tomorrow. Oh no, no, we're still extremely tired. That's not good. <clears throat> we'll now begin this morning's assembly. First, our principal has some words he'd like to share with you. <clears throat> Please give him a warm welcome. Thank you. What's the deal with the assembly? You think it's about the recent incidents? Who cares? The principal doesn't know anything about the shadows anyway. I just hope this doesn't take too long. I know. His speeches always drag. <clears throat> Today, I'd like to tell you about my vision for this school year. As you are aware, strange incidents have been reported on the news lately. It is my firm belief that none of you are involved. However, if we want to better our school, then we all need to accept responsibility for change. Dig deep down inside and tap into your imaginations. But don't lose touch with reality. As they say, there's no use crying over spilt milk, hmm? <laughs> This is the key to reaping all the rewards that school has to offer. Wait a minute. Doesn't this remind you of Mitsuru Senpai's speech? Yeah, you're right. What's up with that? And, you know, I really don't know, Junpei. That just seems kind of weird how the principal of our school would have to take something from a student. That's kind of weird. Hey, it's Mitsuru, and I'm sorry, but I needed to talk to you after school. I have a special requ Ooh, maybe a social link, but I already got plans. What do you, what do you need? I don't want to do it. I apologize for being in a rush, but I don't feel comfortable asking anyone else. I'll tell you more after school. Au revoir. <laughs> Yeah, Mitsuru really likes her uh, French words, if you couldn't tell. Uh, yeah, apparently she needs us after school. And it's now after school. Actually, no, it's class. And the roundup, so the answer is X equals 1. We're still learning algebra in high school at the dump. Okay, and this is Maya Hara. Oh, that's actually a pretty easy Japanese name to say. She's basically throwing some math at us. This is a chance to get another academics point, or I think it's charm, doesn't really matter. The answer is the second option, 6,000 years. I didn't even bother reading it, but she's like, Whoa, you got it right! You're insane! And yeah, math is magnificent. I actually despise math. No, her charm went up, actually, so that's pretty nice to get that point. But Mitsuru wanted us, right? So let's see what that is all about before we can do our social link for the day. If he wants to talk to us... Oh, that kid back there is crying. Oh, poor guy. And I apologize for making you wait. To make a long story short, I want you to join student council. But I am already in a club. Well, it's not like you have to participate in every activity. Just come to the student council room when you have the time. Huh, okay. And that's it. I just want you to join. Being president is very time consuming. I don't have to have additional help available in the event of an emergency. You understand my situation. I'm asking you since you know what it's like to be a leader. All right, it's not that big of a deal. Sure, I'll help out. And I knew I could count on you. You basically don't have an option to say no to her. And yeah, it's right near the faculty office and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'd talk to Miss Toriyumi. Just tell her if you're interested. Okay, we'll be doing that, but not right away, as that's going to open up another social link that we're not really prepared for yet. And all right, before we start any of our social link activities, I need to, well, basically go, go visit the 
school's nurse and use the bathroom to try and get my condition better since we battled in Tartarus and are not in very good condition. So I'm going to do that really quickly and then we can actually do the social link for the day. And alright, after that has been done and you got your courage point if you're tired, we're going to go back into our home room and talk to one of the social links. You could do either the magician, which I actually know he isn't here, so I guess we just have to do track team today. And hey, it's Kazushi, what's up bro? And yeah, we have the matching arcana this time, and yeah, we can actually go with Kazushi and hopefully get a rank up in the social link. So let's go to track, buddy. And at track meet, we went up with Kazushi yet again, and apparently he's in a little bit of pain. I think he needs to suck it up, and he apparently likes that idea. That's his whole belief system. So when doing these social links, you have to kind of think like the character. You can't really give your honest answers. You gotta think what they want to hear. And as a result of telling Kazushi to strengthen up and get stronger, the Cherry Darkana has gone up to rank 2. So yeah, we uh, talk with our fellow track buddy, and he likes us a little bit more now. But before we go to the dorm, we're going to run into a familiar face. Yeah, it's Yuko, our, uh, manager, I think? I don't exactly know the official name, but let's actually try talking to her. Oh, oh Johnny Coon, what's up? Uh, let's actually ask her if she wants to walk home together. Oh, nah, not today. I'm in a hurry. Bye-bye. Huh. Maybe if we ask her again, she'll change her mind or make room in her schedule. But yeah, that is the social link that we decided to do for Monday. It was a pretty easy one, but yeah. Unfortunately, though, we're still a little too tired to go into Tartarus, so we're probably not going to do that till at least Saturday. So, yeah. And Senpai, are you sure you want to let us suck her in? <laughs> I simply asked him for his assistance. Yeah, seems like Mitsuru and Junpei are going at it. Oh, I'll pass. <laughs> but yeah, it's Monday, so we got to go to the mall and do some karaoke. And all right, we're done with school for the day, and we're also feeling better, so that's pretty nice. But today we actually want to spend a little bit of time with Kenji and get a social link up another time, since now that we have Nikomata, we should be able to do that. And he's just doing some small talk before we start the social link, and yeah, we're going to spend a little bit of time with him and see what he's doing with his attempts to get a girlfriend. So the last time we met up with Kenji, he uh, kept asking us a lot of questions about Yukari. And we're just going to humor him a little bit, give him a little small talk, and see what he's up to. Apparently he's a little flustered at the moment and sick of life. He really wants a girlfriend super bad. And yeah, if that hasn't been evident yet, he's going to tell you about that a couple hundred more times. And thanks, dude, I'm going to have a girlfriend just like you someday. I told you right, I'm going after a teacher. Her name is Miss Kanao, and you don't know her, she teaches 12th grade ethics. <laughs> She's not the most beautiful woman, but she's really cute. I just like that line. It's kind of funny. And yeah, Kenji's all over Miss Kanao's finer points and talks about it for a little bit because he shares a little more information on his crush. The social link of the magician has increased yet again and is now rank three. Welcome back. So it seems Kenji's uh, plan to get a woman pretty odd considering she's a teacher at our school and that's kind of weird but hey I'm not gonna hold it against him and hey Mitsuru says the internet's all hooked up and stuff and Akihiko and speaking of the internet you play online games dude a couple maybe <laughs> nice <laughs> dude you gotta check out this one it's called innocent sin online I was totally addicted to it I got burned out give it a try yeah, he obtained Innocent Sin Online, which isn't as cool as it sounds. <laughs> but yeah, we'll take care of that probably tomorrow. And hey, it's Wednesday. It's apparently Showa Day, so there's no school. However, the internet line should be fixed now. So that means we can start a new social link. Yeah. Why don't we check out that game that Junpei gave to us yesterday? Now, this is a very odd social link. It's, well, only available on holidays and Sundays, basically days we don't have to go to school. Let's play the MMORPG. Alternatively, you could study, but where's the fun in life? So let's play this game that Junpei says is pretty addictive. 
And yes, I'm not going to read the text here yet again because it's actually kind of like computery and doesn't really make sense. Now, the idea of a Shin Megami Tensei MMO is kind of weird because it actually does have an MMO that is horrendous. <laughs> it's super bad. Yeah, I just find that kind of funny. And the name Innocent Sin is actually a reference to Persona 2, or at least half of Persona 2. For those who don't know, Persona 2 was sort of divided into two parts, Innocent Sin and Eternal Punishment. So yeah, just a little bit of trivia. And this girl's like, sup, and uses a lot of emoticons and, Are you a nub? All? It's kind of weird. She makes a bunch of funny faces. It's actually pretty funny to read if you've ever played like World of Warcraft or RuneScape or... I don't know what type of MMOs kids play today, but yeah, the options here don't matter. This is a very odd social link, and if you actually read all the text, is, in my opinion, one of the more fun ones. It's too bad the arcana that we get from this is kind of bad, and apparently this girl is actually a girl because she used a kitty face, which obviously means it's a female. Whoa! And yeah, that's a little clever. Oh, really? I'm impressed. <laughs> Gosh. And I see any jokers. That's another... Persona 2 reference. Also, the name Maya is a character from Persona 2. One of the two protagonists. Yeah, that game has two protagonists. It's kind of weird. And hey, we met with Maya. And oh, oh, a mysterious voice rings in your head yet again. And a new arcana has been revealed. Ooh. This social link is debatably one of the worst in the game, right up there with Hierophant. It is the Hermit. Hermit is a very odd um, arcana. Its personas are weird to say the least. <laughs> but yeah, it's still pretty cool, and sir, get to go. Hmm, remember, let's think positive, Trayesto. And my player leaves, yeah. So that's kind of a weird social link. Um, once you've done something in the daytime, though, like you basically play the MMORPG, you can't really do anything else and the day is over, so that's kind of a bummer. But yeah, let's do some stuff on Thursday. And after school is done, it's basically time to go back to track. Uh, we could do either the Magician or the Chariot Social Link, but in this scenario, you should definitely do the Chariot, because now that we have Ari Matama, and also our condition's good, yeah, uh, we should definitely do the Social Link, because it's going to rank up much faster, similar to the Magician. But it's also going to let us start another Social Link with someone that we've met before. So yeah, let's go hang out with Kazushi for the day. And today, a track, uh, apparently something's up with Kazushi. Um, you okay there, dude? Oh, goodness, he's on the ground! Kaz, whoa! He apparently had an asthma attack. That's not very good. <laughs> That's pretty scary. You gotta be careful with that kind of stuff when you're running for so often. Yeah, I can't do it, I can't lie to you, Johnny, I... Ugh. My knee has felt really bad since the day you first came to practice. Oh, dang. The pain won't go away. Was it going to heal up in time for the big meetup? Oh, goodness. Yeah, we got to keep a secret. We can't let the others know that he's not feeling well. He might spread rumors. Because Kaz let us in on his secret, and we promised to keep it, the Chariot Social Link will rise up another rank to rank three. But before we go to the dorm, we're gonna run into a familiar face for the second time. It's Yuko. I don't know what she's up to. Maybe she wants to hang out today. Why don't we ask her? And oh, Johnny Coon, what is up? You wanna go home today? We probably should go home today. Okay, sure. Why don't we stop somewhere along the way? Sure. Yeah, let's hang out. Let's do something together, Yuko, and share and create a bond or whatever. Because I want a social link, gosh dang it. If you didn't know, Yuko is another social link. And hey, we're at the cafe, Polonia Mall. The rich aroma of coffee fills the air. Ooh. It's tough being a team manager. You don't get any respect. The guys on the team all act like little kids. Where's my towel? Can you watch this for me? I'm not their mom. Well, you got that right. You're definitely not. At least I don't have to worry about gaining weight since I'm always running. <laughs> yeah, I guess that is a positive part of being in a club and how about you johnny coon are you enjoying track team well heck yeah me and kaz have been had a pretty good rivalry it's good training for when we have to go in tartarus and yuki seems to be happy 
I thought it might be boring for you since you're so much better than everyone else. I don't know about that, but you've got your own style. You don't waste much energy. Uh, this is getting awkward really fast. Just ask Kaz, um, you know, Kazushi. That's his nickname, apparently. You guys are in the same class, so I'm sure he'd be willing to help you out. And you can make me, too, if you want to, since I'm the team manager. Uh, sure, I'll definitely do that. And Yuko seems to be concerned about you. Your relationship is now stronger. <gasps> you know what that means. A mysterious voice rings in your head. For, like, the ninth time or whatever. It is the Strength Arcana. Yes, it's awesome. Strength personas, as you may know, excel at only magic. No, I'm just joking. They hit hard with physical attacks and are pretty helpful to have. And it seems Yuko thinks of you as a school friend. However, you're, you're still just a casual acquaintance. Aw, poor main character. Don't get too frisky, you two. Ha ha ha, this is really awkward. Because basically, uh, I don't want to spoil but just just uh, the game gets a little weird I'm just gonna throw that out and hey it's our phone whoa your cell phone is now ringing oh my who could it be this is Elizabeth please come to the velvet room there is a matter we need to discuss you may use the alternate entrance located in Polonia Mall all you must do is find the door I'll see you soon okay and yes, that is a phone call. So now we can actually go to the Velvet Room by going to the mall. It's pretty handy to have two entrances and stuff, dude. That's all you gotta say. Well, I gotta go to the mall. Sorry, Junpei, but I can't hang out forever. So let's go to Polonia Mall. And today's a Thursday, so I think we need to do some more karaoke. But before we do that, we gotta talk to Liz. Because something. I actually don't remember, so we'll find out together. I'm pretty sure it involves just, yeah, I have things for you to do and such. Also, one thing I made to make notice of, I did this off screen, but I sold those Empress masks. And there is a mysterious door. Let's go inside. <laughs> this is the Velvet Room yet again. And we can go here and fuse personas whenever you want. And I'm truly sorry to bother you, but I have a big favor to ask. I've been looking for someone with exceptional strength. If you don't mind, we accept my requests. These are Elizabeth's requests. Now, some of these are required to beat the game and to get the ultimate persona. But we will not be covering all of them. You can now select accept requests. There are a ton of requests. About like 10% of these are even worth doing. Yeah, this one in particular, we definitely want to do those since there's really no reason not to. Some people like to do all the requests but not all of them will be covered in this walkthrough. The ones that are about Elizabeth will be covered, but not ones that aren't. So if I miss some of the requests that you want to see or don't know how to do, please consult a text walkthrough as doing all of them in a video form is debatably really stupid. Anyways, what we need to do now though is, uh, hmm, what else should I explain? Oh yeah, if you have items to sell, come to the pharmacy. He's open 24-7. He will... It doesn't matter if it's a giant great sword. This dude will buy it from you <laughs> for whatever reason. But yeah, it's Thursday, so we gotta do some karaoke and study, as we've been doing for almost like the beginning of the game. FYI. Akihiko-san's at the hospital getting a checkup. He called me earlier and asked me to bring him something. Yep, he knows who to count on. He only asked you because you don't have anything else to do after school. Hey, I resent that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, what do you want you to bring? The class roster for 2E. What's he want that for? Well, I don't have practice today, so I'll go with you. You're coming too, right? Cool. Uh, wait a minute. What? Is there a problem? Well, it was me he asked. Um, 
Um, is Akihiko Senpai... ...in this room? By any chance? What are all of you guys doing here? We came to see you. But it doesn't look like anything's wrong with you. I'm just here for a checkup. Is that it, Aki? Yeah, thanks. I don't have time for this shit. Who was that? A friend from school, sort of. You know how the number of apathy syndrome cases have been increasing? Well, he knows a few people who are suffering from it, so I was asking him about it. Hey Junpei, did you bring what I asked? Of course, senpai. Uh, you shouldn't move your arm. Yeah, it's nothing. I've wasted enough time already. I need to get back to my training. Yeah, Gecko Khan's golden boy. He was born to be in the ring. Sometimes I really don't get you. By the way, senpai, why boxing? You mean, why did I choose that sport? Well, it's not the sport itself I like. I just wanted to learn how to fight. I know what it's like to feel powerless. And I don't want to feel that way again. Besides, I'm curious to see how strong I can get. It's like a game, only I'm competing against myself. Well, that's an interesting way of looking at it. You know, I'm into games too. Yeah, video games. They're good for hand-eye coordination. So yeah, a little bit of comic relief and a little bit of character development from Akihiko. Well, not actually development, we just understand why he trains so much. And I'm serious talking about Tartarus and Akihiko and how he's going to be getting better soon. So that's pretty cool. We'd have a muster as much strength as we can. Yeah. And it doesn't look like Yukari is here, so we're just going to do the usual and hopefully go to Tartarus tomorrow. And class has ended for today, but we don't have any social links available. Kanji and Kaz stinking aren't here. I mean, there's Yukari in the back, but I don't know, she kind of creeps me out. So let's actually see if anyone else wants to do anything today. Yeah, wasn't Yuko... Uh, yeah, she should be... There she is! Let's actually spend a little bit of time with her and advance her social link another rank. And then we might go to Tartarus tonight. Maybe. Yeah, let's... Spend a little time with her, and level up her social link one time. Don't worry, you don't need the matching persona right now. So for our second meeting with Yuko, we head to the Wild Duck Burger, and apparently she's mentally exhausted. Oh, that's not good. What's going on? Oh, nothing major. It's just a bit of an over-exaggeration. But apparently, her classic literature teacher's been giving her some trouble. She turned in a blank test and hasn't been trying really hard. Oh, man. Not doing so hot in school, but she doesn't want her intellectual status to be ruined. <laughs> She's making a joke here, but we agree with her anyways, and she kind of blushes. It's kind of funny. And yeah, we encourage her to keep trying in school and, you know, just do a little better, not turn in blank tests. Because that stuff's pretty important. And yeah, after a little encouragement, the Strength Social Link reaches rank 2. And after a great afternoon of eating wild duck burgers, it's finally time. We've had a pretty long break from Tartarus, and I think it's time that we take on that boss that was stopping me from progressing in the... Well, I think it was last video. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, guys, okay, stop talking. I want to go to Tartarus and kill stuff. Uh, okay, so let's talk to Mitsuru, and everyone should be ready to go. Let's head in to Tartarus. Ooh, 
and defeat that boss. Now, what you need for this boss, do not fuse Orpheus yet. Don't. Do not. Do not chill. We suck like another week. Do not fuse Orpheus yet. He's very important. But with that being said, let's not come over to the teleporter. Actually, I know I need to save really quickly. <laughs> Get a little bit ahead of myself. Getting a little too uh, frisky, I guess. That has been done. Let's head inside the teleporter and take on the next boss of Tartarus. Yeah, because I want those treasures to sell. So that'd be very nice. Yeah. So what you need for this battle, Orpheus will suffice. He's way more than enough. Also, having Apsaurus is not a bad idea, but I... I think I have her? Let's actually check. Let's go to my personas. And yeah, so basically just have Orpheus and Apsaurus and be a decent level. That's all you really need, and also a little bit of luck. So yeah, let's equip Orpheus and go take on the boss of Tartarus. Woo. Which are gloves with rings. And these sacks of crap are the magic hands, which are relatively annoying to deal with. So what we have to do is we're going to actually switch from Arimatama to Orpheus and bash them in the heads because they actually resist every form of magic that fire, ice, electricity, and wind. So yeah, they actually share a weakness. The problem is none of your party members can act. Ooh, you missed. That could be unfortunate. And here's the big problem with these enemies, they like to spam Magaru, which Junpei is actually weak to. So that could be a problem, and yes, use fire on her. I'm totally okay with that. Bufu on me, not a big problem. And here comes the Zio. Ooh, that could be an issue, though, if he gets another attack in. Okay, good. Use fire on Junpei. Awesome! So now we're gonna use Cadenza, which should heal everybody up, since I'm a little low, too, and ugh, what's her name? Really needs some heals. There we go. And heal everyone up and increase their evasion rate, so hopefully we'll dodge some of those nasty magic attacks. And Junpei's going for another cleave. I'm totally okay with that. Oh, there he goes. Ooh, I probably should have used the bash, but there was a chance I was going to miss. And if Yukari dies in this fight, you're <laughs> basically kind of screwed. And oh no, he healed himself, but it wasn't that big of a heal, honestly. Yagi coming out. And, oh, goodness. This is a moment where you actually need to go into the tactics and tell Yukari to stop auto-attacking and heal everybody for crying out loud. Okay, so now that has been done, we're not going to auto-attack. We're going to use Bash on the weakest one. And try and get an all-out attack on these guys. If we can hit all three of them, that is. Okay, cool. One's down. Let's go for another. Come on, connect Orpheus. I need your harp to do tons of damage. There we go, 42. That's basically all I can ask for. Now, you're probably thinking, doesn't Arya Matama have Bash too? Yes. But the issue in that is, he is weak to Garu. Which is a problem. See, now they're all down, but here's the issue. I'm not 100% certain that Yukari's gonna live. So we're gonna take a big gambit and do it anyways, because I don't give a crap. Uh, we have a revival bead, so it's not the end of the world. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, darn, we didn't kill it. Uh, okay, Junpei's gonna heal Yukari up, which is pretty nice. And she used... Oh, Dia on me. Well, okay. So we have... We actually lived that turn, so that was a pretty good gambit to take. And here comes the Zeo. Ooh, I'm knocked down. Crap. They have access to every spell, so chances are someone's going to get knocked down eventually. Oh, goodness. These guys are giant jerks! Ugh! We're just barely hanging in there, aren't we? Darn. Oh, my gosh. I don't even have enough... <laughs> I don't even have enough HP to use my bash, so we're going to use Cadenza again. Very helpful. Get this fusion spell. It's going to save your butt in boss fight. That's for sure. We're going to get the evasion rape up again. And also heal ourselves. That's very good. Slash attack take his that dude, though. And Yukari's gonna heal us yet again. So it's very helpful to get Yukari to heal us. Her bow doesn't do a ton of damage, and ew, that's a little rough. But we can tank it, and hey, we're dodging pretty well thanks to Cadenza. If you die on this, just keep spamming Cadenza and hope that they miss and that you dodge. And oh my gosh, I cannot hit these dudes today. And yeah, thankfully, your party members never run out of items, so they can keep spamming them. And yeah, there is. I don't think we've actually seen Yukari's persona yet. That is Eo. His Egyptian is not Greek, actually. It's kind of the odd one out. And here, here comes another Magaru. We dodged it, though. Actually, someone dodged it, so that's good. Let's go for another bash. Someone even call us a monster bash. Oh, gosh. I'm so witty. Anyways, so one of our party members is down, but the all-out attack 
is still going to do a ton of damage, and it's also AoE, so that's what we need. So even though it's just me and Yukari, we should do an all-out attack in this scenario. Let's come on. I know our weapons aren't really the strongest, but this shield should do some good damage. Okay, 30's not too bad. And Junpei's back up. That's good. So okay, here comes another Dio. It's probably going to be for me. Or Dia, <laughs> not Dio. This is not the uh, musician. Okay, come on, Junpei, just live, live, live. Oh my goodness, we all just dodged it. Praise be Cadenza, because it is OP early on, and our evasion rate is down there. So let's go for another bash. Which one's weaker? I want that one dead. These stinking spam them on Garu constantly. And yeah. Having Orpheus is really handy, and you really should have Obsaurus too, because those two with the fusion spell basically break uh, just boss fights in general very early on. Very handy spell to have, and gosh, these guys are taking forever to go down. Goodness. Ugh. And thankfully, we should survive, but oh no, we don't have enough. I think I can take it down. This is such a gambit, I know, but I'm going to use Bash on that guy. I'm pretty confident that Yukari's going to heal me up next turn. Okay, actually, I get another more, huh? We'll just go ahead and use Condenza anyways. So let's increase our evasionness one more time. Fusion spell. I really like how Orpheus looks in that art. Looks pretty cool. And yeah, basically, just burn everything you got on this boss fight as far as SP and HP go. Because as long as you live, you can go downstairs and you should be okay. Yes, the piercing... No! Don't die! Yay, okay. <laughs> so we're just going to auto-down the last hand. And this is pretty much GG. We beat the boss of the 10th floor of Tartarus. It wasn't the easiest thing in the world. Not at all. This game is not easy. Especially those guys. They're pretty darn tough. And yes, we did it, so let's reclaim our reward. There's the stairs, but we're not ready to do that yet, because we're kind of running out of time in this episode. Yeah, some chewing souls. Very hell and handy and clearing for the words of Tartarus. But let's go back downstairs and heal up. But that is probably going to do it for this episode. Let's play Persona 3 FES. We did a lot in this video, like a lot, a lot. We got four social links, and we made a lot of progress inside of Tartarus. So I'm going to have to see you guys in the next part where we continue playing through this game. So see you guys then. Bye.